In today's tech tip, we're going to go over how to improve your workflow using the part reviewer. Now, if you've used the part reviewer in the past, you're aware that you can use this to automatically roll through each feature creation of a part to see how it was designed. Now, maybe you've inherited these parts from a previous employee, or you're just trying to dissect a model from a legacy part so that you can make some intuitive changes based off the change orders. Now, in your typical standard options for your part reviewer, what we're going to do is we're going to roll back to the beginning and we're going to step through each feature and we're going to see the feature that was created. And then if there was a sketch, we'll see the sketch that was created to do that. Now, what I'm going to show you is a way to increase that workflow so that you can do this in a much smoother fashion. To make the best use out of our part reviewer, we need to enable two options in our feature tree to really make a smooth workflow when we're reviewing our parts. First thing we want to do is we want to go to our feature tree, right click our annotations folder, and show feature dimensions. What this is going to do is turn on all our dimensions for all of our features and our sketches within the model so that we don't have to go in and edit each feature individually or edit each sketch individually to see our dimension. Second thing we want to do is we want to go to our top level of our feature tree, right click, go to tree display, and show flat tree view. Now, if you look at our feature tree, you can see that every sketch that was absorbed within a feature, just like in this base plate, we now have the sketch to create that base plate right above the feature in which it was created. So now that we have those two options turned on, the next thing we need to do is we just go like we normally would with our part reviewer, and we'll go ahead and jump to the beginning. Now you can see that since I have my feature dimensions on, I can see my sketch step forward, and I can see my base plate see my extrusion from that sketch, and so on. You can see each feature in the correct order it was created. Instead of in our normal workflow, without these options turned on, we see the feature, then we see the sketch that was used to create the feature. And there you have it. There's a pro tip on how to smooth out your part reviewer workflow.